uh, let me give you one more game, okay? And then we'll figure out all the Nash equilibrium. And then I'll tell you one refinement of Nash equilibrium, okay? Uh, so refinement uh, is basically, uh, you know, you can say that, uh, you know, we are going to select one of the Nash equilibrium, you know, uh, or basically the Nash, if there are multiple Nash equilibrium, uh, basically we are going to, we are going to select uh, maybe a subset of them that we think uh, are more sensible than the other Nash equilibrium. Okay. So uh, I'll give you some sort of a refinement of Nash equilibrium solution concept. Okay. For extensive games. Uh, so that refinement, you know, we call that sub game perfect equilibrium. So I'll, I'll talk about that. But first, let's uh, uh, let's figure out uh, the Nash equilibrium. OK. So uh, so let us uh, uh, imagine a scenario where there are two firms. OK, uh, so firm one is uh, incumbent. Uh, sorry firm one is entrant okay entrant potential entrant and firm two is incumbent okay firm two is incumbent so basically firm two is the firm that is already there in the industry firm one is a potential entrant okay Okay, so first player, first, uh, you know, firm one is going to take a decision. Uh, one decision that the firm can take is enter, and the other is to stay out. Okay, if firm, if the entrant firm, which is firm one, it takes a decision to stay out, uh, it's kind of best for the incumbent firm, you know, because if it, if it stays out, uh, then uh, uh, it enjoys uh, lesser competition in the industry. Okay, so uh, you can say that uh, You know the first firm gets zero by staying out and uh, the second firm uh, enjoys a payoff of 10 Okay Is that clear? Okay uh, now let me specify what happens here. So if the firm enters, then the incumbent can actually uh, uh, take, uh, you know, one of the two decisions. One is, you know, sh be aggressive, fight uh, with the firm, you know, maybe, you know, choose a pricing strategy, uh, basically undercut the price a lot. Uh, so, you know, just to fight uh, the entrant. So obviously that is not a very, uh, pleasing uh, outcome for either of them okay and the other is uh, you know you can uh, accommodate okay so uh, you can say okay it has entered uh, you know let's live peacefully let's not fight uh, let's accommodate so if if they're going to fight uh, let's say the payoffs are 2-2 two, two. okay uh, or let's say let's just make it negative okay minus two minus two and if they're going to if if accommodation happens you know then uh, uh, they split you know kind of uh, uh, 10 uh, equally okay so you can you can imagine these kind of payoffs okay is the game clear now can you tell me how many strategies player one has the entrant firm two strategies what are the two strategies exactly enter stay out how many strategies player two has two strategies what are those strategies Fight, accommodate. So now you have the table, you can figure out the Nash equilibrium. Okay. So if the game is played this way, enter, fight, enter, fight, minus two, minus two, enter, accommodate, 
फाइव फाइव स्टे आउट फाइट जीरो टेन स्टे आउट अकोमोडेट जीरो टेन ओके लेट्स फिगर आउट द नाश इक्लिब्रम सो इफ प्लेयर टू डिसाइड्स टू फाइट then uh, stay out is the best response of player 1 if player 2 decides to accommodate then uh, enter is the decision of player 1 okay and uh, uh, let's do that do the same thing for player 1 okay uh, so if player 2 decides uh, so yeah so if player 1 decides to enter then uh, accommodate is the best action because 5 is greater than minus 2 okay and if 2 uh, decides to stay out then both are best responses now can you tell me how many nash equilibrium are there two nash equilibrium okay so one nash equilibrium is uh stay out fight and the second nash equilibrium is what is the second nash equilibrium enter or accommodate is that clear is that clear to everyone any questions okay now let's think about this game you know in a different way so remember i told you about the backward induction way of thinking you know when we were talking about that uh 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 mastic game so let us think about that way of thinking uh, that way of uh, playing this game so what is the backward induction way of thinking about playing this game so basically the backward induction way of thinking is you can think of this little game first okay this little game is actually a part of this big game okay this little game which starts from here is basically a part of this big game why do you call it a game which is part of this big game because you know if player enters here then you know you can just ignore player 1 from here onwards it's a game in itself okay it's a game in itself where incumbent uh, you know is going to decide you know we are already here so we can ignore whatever has happened has happened you know it's it's not going to change uh, you know you can just see forward okay you can just see forward and uh, you know decide how to play this game the remaining game so you can just look at this little game and then decide what are you going to do in this game okay so what do you think incumbent should do in this game in this little game exactly accommodate right is that okay he should do accommodate okay and let's now move uh to this complete game now this entrant can always step into the shoes of incumbent and think about it you know how this incumbent will play the game at this node so this entrant have no reason to believe that he is going to fight he knows that it is in the interest of the incumbent himself to accommodate is that okay so entrant can actually do this calculation 
and will be able to guess that incumbent in his own interest will play accommodate so i just need to compare my payoff with this payoff and then i can decide so he's going to choose enter because entering is going to give him five staying out is going to give him zero so this looks like a a, 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 a backward induction equilibrium makes sense okay so this is actually known as sub game perfect equilibrium okay this is the refinement that i was talking about so sub game perfect equilibrium is actually uh, you know you can also call it backward induction equilibrium sub game perfect equilibrium is that clear to everyone okay and uh, you know so what is the sub game perfect equilibrium in this case it is enter accommodate So notice that it is one of the Nash equilibrium. It is this one. So it turns out that subgame perfect equilibrium is always a Nash equilibrium, but the converse may not be true. You know, there can be more Nash equilibrium, okay, uh, compared to uh, the set of subgame perfect equilibrium. So uh, we call it a refinement, okay, uh, uh, because uh, this has some added logic, you know. Uh, to it so sub game perfect equilibrium is a subset of nash equilibrium set of sub game perfect equilibrium i shouldn't say sub game perfect equilibrium set of sub game perfect equilibrium is a subset of set of nash equilibrium okay 